Hello everybody. So today I've got some blind bag um, unboxings to do of some like blind bags toys. I got these mini brats. I have some rainbow high shoes. I saw these come out. I think they're somewhat overpriced. I mean, they're like $10. Um, I'm going to turn the light on so you guys can see me better. Um, but they're like $10. Like for shoes but I mean, I mean at that at that price I almost think just buy a doll because you're getting like close pretty close I mean it, it's expensive to me I hope they're really well detailed for that price um we'll see also for ten dollars I bought this real little cutie carrier it's like this little chihuahua one because I have two chihuahua jack russells and I fell in love with the Chihuahua one, so I bought it. It was the first time I'd seen them. I'm going to put them in the dollhouse, and I think they'll look a little re more realistic than the Barbie ones. And then to top it off, you guys, I got this LOL Surprise Jumbo Coloring Book. It does look like a Halloween one, like she's dressed up as a tiger. There's Moonlit Baby, and she looks... Uh, is it Moonlit Baby or like her sister? I can't remember which one. There are too many LOLs and LOL siblings, but I like the one on the back. So it does look kind of Halloween-y. Um, I like to draw in coloring books just to practice shading and different things. Sometimes it's nice just to have that outline and it's calming. And I like the kids coloring books because I feel like that's where my skill level is. Like I'm, I'm still learning art stuff, so um, yeah. I do need to like move my coloring books because my dogs keep chewing them. So this is to replace a not a not surprise one. My dog was just like, you know what? I'm gonna shred this all over your floor. The dog is fine. They didn't swallow any of it, but um, I was very sad to see my coloring book, my not a not surprise one go. So now we got some LOL, and I'm keeping this upstairs, and I'm gonna figure out where I'm gonna move the other coloring books because. I cannot have dogs chewing coloring books. So I'm gonna set that kinda under the desk for now. It's in a safe place so we can get to our unboxings. Um, let me know if you guys like coloring books cause I would love to do like a coloring book or maybe like an art supply shopping haul for you guys. Another thing I would like to do is just do some crafts with you guys. Um, I painted rocks on my twitch stream kindness rocks and i used to hide them around town and take pictures of the rocks once they were hidden and put it up with music and we'll get back to doing that too um so i'm gonna open the series one of the mini brats we'll just get that right off i feel like i'm an expert at opening these now because i've opened two of them already that makes me an expert right <laughs> I hope so. I saw the foodie mini brands and I was so tempted to grab them. Uh, so very tempted because I love mini brands. I love blind bag toys in general. Just the surprise of seeing what you're going to get. The only sad thing about blind bag toys is that you can get doubles. Um, That's sad. I don't want doubles. Okay, what did we get? We got... Oh! Bratz twins! I remember these when I was young. Oh, that is so cute. And you can see the back of the box is detailed. The cool things about these compared to like mini brands toys is these ones you can take out of the box very easily. If I can, uh, I've done it before on my channel. I might just link those videos. Uh, but yes, you can actually... If it'll let me, now it's not letting me, um, you could take them out of the box, like when I first, first got them, and then like put them back in the box. Oh, there's tape here. Let's get that tape off. And then you can actually use them with your dolls as like dolls for your dolls. Like I set these on a dresser in my dollhouse and, um, I think they look really cool in the dresser. So you just remove like the little piece of tape. Get that tape off of there. And then. Did I get all the tape? Feel like there's. Oh, nope. There's still tape. 
There's still a tad, tad bit of tape. I can't believe I got like twins. I feel like that that's like double the fun. Um, are you gonna let me open you? Cause you let me open you last time. Like what's going on here? MGA, like I can't open my doll. My, my mini brats. Okay, so I can't seem to figure out how to open the twins. I will link my other uh, mini brats videos for you guys so you can see how they're opened. It might just be this particular one that I can't open. Um, but I do like the twin. She's got like a pink jacket, some stripes and everything. We'll move on to the second one. Which is pretty, pretty fun. Oh, it's a Bratz, like, little electric funk. Is it like a radio? No, it's like a Bratz. Yeah, it's like a Bratz radio. That's kind of cool. I like that. That is cute. It's like little, the Bratz kiss slips or whatever. Um, and what you can do with these is these fit. Technically, I think this would be the other way. I'm putting them in the wrong way. You can actually display them in these and like line them up on your windowsill. So I think that is really cool. You can stack them, you know, whatever, whatever pleases your heart. Um, I think they're really cool and I plan on buying more. So you'll see me open more of those on the channel. At some point, we're probably going to get doubles. And like I said, I use them in my dollhouse to decorate and like, as toys for dolls and things like that. Um, I've got them right down, right down there. Do you see that red chair? There's a dresser that I actually painted. It was a mini jewelry box and I painted it to look like a dresser. And then I have like the, uh, the, the Bratz toys on top of it. So that is really, really cool. Next we have our Rainbow High. I don't want to damage the box. As expensive as this is, I, I don't want to damage the box. I'm hoping I can, like, keep the box. Uh, we can hope. Uh, these are also by MGA. The Mini Brats and the, uh, the Rainbow High uh, mini, sh mini accessory studio stuff. They have purses and they have shoes. I grabbed the shoes, apparently. Um... Now what you get inside is really, really cool. So you get this, I want to open it. Okay, let me, let me open, cut this with my scissors. Hopefully I don't like cut the items that I got. There we go. You get this, come on out, do, 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 do. You get this, it says mini uh, rainbow highs, and you get this little, like, it's almost like a receipt in, like, a little folder. And then you get this certificate of glam. This certificate certifies the authenticity of the Series 1 Rainbow High Mini Studio, Mini Accessory Studio Shoes. Um, and it says fall 2022 rainbow high because they've been sitting for a while to be unboxed so i might do like some of my unboxing and open multiple things at a time um because i've got a got a stockpile going got a whole stockpile you guys so then you open this up there is this piece of mga paper i don't know why they give you that that seems like a waste of paper there is this checklist, so you can like check off what you got. On one side, it is shoes. On the other, it is purses. Um, so I'm excited to see what shoes I can get. There's this box inside of here. So this looks like a little trunk. You could almost use this as like a toy box for your dollhouse, which is what I'm gonna do. Um, and then these shoes, they're boxed up, kind of like a real shoe box. And I am so excited, you guys. I'm like fidgety today. 
Maybe I've had too much coffee. They have like this RH sticker and some RH, RH tissue paper, which is amazing. I'm just gonna like loosen the sticker so I can get my shoes. Okay, what did we get? We got this dust bag as well to kind of keep your shoes in. It could be used as like a purse for your dolls. Um, like one of those tote purses. They can like, I don't know, swing them over their hands. I'm going to put this stuff inside here so I don't lose it. Um, we got these black and white rainbow high shoes. They say born to sparkle. Who is a good doll that I think could model these? Oh, you know who this would be perfect on? Okay, let me, I gotta grab a doll. Don't mind me. My darling Lyric, who is in an outfit. This outfit is custom made. Um, I did review it. I will link the Etsy shop review. Um, I bought this from... Melody Panics Creations, they make great doll stuff, but this, her gloves have like the black and white. And so I kind of want to put those shoes with this outfit and really make it a rock and roll outfit. So we will, we will do that. Let's see if I can slip them on her. Are they going to be easy to put on her? Because this is like actual fabric. Okay, that was fairly easy. Hmm, I'm kind of shocked. That wasn't like all that difficult to get it on. I think it goes on the other foot though, I'll be honest. I think I put it on the wrong foot over here like la dee doo doo doo. I think I did that right. Nope. <laughs> okay, that shoe looks perfect. I like the fabric on it. And I like how it says like rainbow and sparkle and all of that. These are some cool shoes. I don't know who they're supposed to be for. It says Rainbow High Anklet Boots is what we got. Um, so yeah, these are so cute. And now she really looks like a rock star. You know, she's got her boots on. Um, I think the hard part is just going to be like getting the, um, the fabric like level. There is... A teeny loose thread here and I don't like that considering I paid $10 I can trim that it's not a big deal um, but I feel like for $10 I should not be seeing loose threads um, but I think the shoes themselves are very very cute let me know what you think um do you like lyrics outfit I think she's cute I really do um, I'll put her back you got to play your part on like the price is right lyric the the shoe fits <laughs> i don't know what game show we're playing with you lyric but we're uh we're having some fun so i love those rainbow high shoes i always need dog clothes and shoes that is something that for me is so important so and then you can check off the ones we got we got these ones here um i like that they give you the list i'm gonna keep the list I'm gonna keep the box. <laughs> I'll probably like store the box away in the, the closet because Lord knows this stuff is expensive. Um, so I will, I'm gonna put the tissue paper back in here. You know, you could create a little shoe store for your um, rainbow highs if you're like talented at building and whatnot. I think that would be cool if somebody did that. It wouldn't be me because I don't know how to build that well. That's something I want to learn though. Like I want to learn how to um, build like doll houses and stuff. Um, I'm also going to put these spare shoes in here for now. And then it's kind of like when you buy the shoes you get like a little tote bag and you get some shoes. So I feel like they might be a better deal than the purses. I don't know. I just know I like opening them. <laughs> they, they are fun. They are a fun thing. So now we got everything back in the box. And what's up next is our Real Littles Cutie Carries. 
And the this is just super adorable. Like, I don't even know how to show you how adorable this is. I'm trying not to get any, like, glare. Um, there are six pups to collect. A French Bulldog, a Yorkshire Terrier, which I saw there. A Dash Hound, a Corgi, and a Cadoodle. So I like that there are, like, some mixed breeds. And it shows it on the back. And you will get a limited edition fashion, which I think is really, really cool. Like, give me all the fashions for my dogs. I am always looking for, like, good pets to go with, like, my different dolls. I feel like this dog could easily be an LOL or Rainbow Highs dog or Barbies. Like, we are not discriminating. It could be for any of them. Um, I feel like LOL it might be, like, a good size for, to be honest. Um, but I don't know if it's, like, I think LOL, they have pets that come with it. I mean, so do Barbie, so... I don't know. I don't know which doll I'm kind of picturing using it with. Uh, I just know it's adorable. Like, I have chihuahuas. So it comes in this carrying case, which you can unzip. You can take your doll out. Which, your dog, not doll. You can shoot the little plastic away. So here's the doll. She has this little fabric dress. She has this adorable little barrette. Hey, isn't she so cute? And then down here, we have more stuff. She has a cool collar. So let me just, I don't, I don't know how to put the collar on her. Do I just, oh no, I put it on the other way. That must be where like the dolls holds it. So it does have a thing so like your doll can, can hold it nicely. Uh, so let's let's put the collar on. Let's see if I can put the collar on. Like this dog's head is so small. Um, but there you go. You got a leash. And you got this cool clip in case you want to like, I don't know, clip the little bag to like your backpack and store some makeup in there. Um, you can store like some chapstick, a bunch of other items. I do actually see where the surprise fashion is. Um, which I almost forgot about. I thought the dog was wearing it for a minute. What is our surprise fashion? Oh, did we just get a second, like, collar? What is that? Well, geez, that wasn't a very, like, big surprise. We got, like, just, like, a whole nother collar. So I can take this off my dog, I guess. And I can put this whole adorable, I think it's a collar, correct me if I am wrong. I think I'm, I think it's a collar, you guys. I'm really feeling uh, that it is a collar. I'm having trouble, like, getting it to button, like, to, to close around the dog's neck. Um, so there is that. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe it's not, like, a doggy item thingy. Like, maybe, maybe I am, like, legit doing something wrong. I, I would think it would be a dog collar. Maybe it's a little wide to be a dog collar. Maybe it's, like, a little, I don't know, harness. <laughs> is it a harness? I'm over here, like, what is this, and how do I put it on the dog? Okay, let me just move her teeny legs. See if I can... See if I can just hook this anywhere is onto the dog. Honestly, I would have preferred like a second outfit than this plastic thing that I can't get to like hook anywheres. Oh, now it's going on. So it is, it does look like like a little belt thing, I guess, like a treat pouch. And then you can, you can also, I saw a video, you can like take their heads off and like change them between the dogs. So if you got like, say, you got the... French Bulldog, which has a very similar coloring. You could switch the heads around and make your own kind of mixed breed. So yeah, that is cute. That's that's adorable. I'm going to put my collar back on because I feel like you need it. I feel like I need it. Just, just to really sell this. That this is a really good purchase. Um, I love spending my money on toys. I really do. 
it's fun. I get I get enjoyment out of this, so. So her neck though is so small. Like they give you so much extra like room for like the leash. Like it makes no sense. Maybe if I put it this way. Am I like supposed to put it this way? That doesn't look right. Now it looks like I have like extra leash. No, I don't like that. I feel like it's supposed to get this as tight as possible around the doggy's neck. Um, yeah, I feel like it's supposed to go like this. But what I don't like is that this leash has like so much extra, extra room. Like the, the leash to me feels kind of useless. And maybe that's just me. Like, I feel like I don't need the leash. I would have been just happy with the dog in a second outfit. Like, I don't really need the belt thing either, but there we go. Um, it is cute. Uh, tell me in the comments, for those of you watching on YouTube, what we should name this dog. We can name it together. And that is our blind bag openings for today. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. If you like... Dollhouse Miniatures, just give this a like, or Dollhouse Accessories, and um, I'll chill with you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to join the Knock Squad. Like, this dog is begging you to subscribe. She wants to know she's cute. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.